Hi guys, welcome to Vlogmas Day 22. Can you guys believe Christmas is this week? I cannot, cannot get over it. So um, today I have plans of filming and I was going to film an apartment tour. I just really have to clean up, you know, the filming room, which is the room I'm in right now. It's a mess in here. And then I also have to straighten up the house in general. It's a little bit of a mess, which is, you know, whatever story of my life so I do have to clean up a few things before I go ahead and do it but I know that this is something that had been highly requested um to be honest with you guys it's nothing that special my apartment's not like you know a dream apartment by any means it's like our first apartment and you know if you've been watching my vlogs for a while and you've faithfully been watching them then you know that me and Adam are looking to get a house um we're not looking to get a house. We're looking to get one house, and hopefully, you know, that works out. He finds out if he gets approved tomorrow for the house. So I've been kind of hesitating on giving you guys an apartment tour because we probably will only be here for a few more months anyway, and our lease is up in June. So I don't know. Um, I could give you guys a quick little apartment tour because, you know, we have lived here since this past June, but... Keep in mind that this is not a dream apartment by any means. And um, we make it work, but we're definitely looking to get a house. So, you know, I'll put this up and then down the road when our house is finished, I can get I don't know if anyone's ever heard of this website. It's called Vid Stats X, and it gives you like your YouTube channel stats. It's actually pretty accurate. They actually give you like projection rates and stuff, which I think is really cool. I forget how I found out about this website. I think like I. Google searched my YouTube name one day and it came up and I'm like, what's this? You know, because I always, I don't always, but like once in a while I do a Google search of my YouTube name and just see what comes up, see if people have wrote about me in blogs or whatever the case may be. I just check it out. So anyway, look at the projections. They're usually pretty accurate. So it says that I will hit 10,000 subscribers in 29 days, which will be January 20th, which... I'm planning to do a giveaway when I reach 10,000 subscribers because to me that's always been like a goal I've had and it may not seem like a lot but 10,000 is the double digits, you know what I mean? I've always been like 1,000, 2,000, 3,000 so you know to hit 10,000 is very exciting for me so I definitely want to give back to you guys and do something nice. Um, So that's like, so I'm in the process of cleaning up my room and trying to clean up the house before I film um, my apartment tour. Look I got fruit in my tooth. Um, I cannot believe Christmas is this Thursday. I'm so excited. This is me and Adam's, you know, first real Christmas together. So, um, I'm only going to vlog like me and him in our apartment, our Christmas. I'm not going to vlog because we won't be together for Christmas. Like we'll be together in the morning, but he goes to his parents and I'll be with my family. So, um, we talked about it and I was like, should I vlog at my parents? Should I vlog with my family? And he's like, it should just be us because this is your vlog channel. It's about our life. It has nothing to do with our families. So um, you should just like vlog us. So, I mean, you guys still get to see our Christmas um, together. You know, the wake up, the breakfast, the uh, the presents opening. It'll be a good vlog. So I hope that's not disappointing to you guys. It's just, you know, it is my vlog channel. It's our life. It doesn't really have to be about my family or his family and like us splitting up. So I hope you guys understand. You're still going to really, you know, enjoy it, I hope. And I hope you guys enjoyed Vlogmas. I cannot believe I vlogged every day up until Christmas. Like, I did pretty well. So I hope you guys are happy. <laughs> I'm just cleaning up the apartment and trying to get everything more organized for my apartment tour. Got to do my hair and makeup in a little bit. I just have like a bang and migraine. I've had it for like three days. I'm so sick of it. I literally feel like crap. I'm not even going to show you Adam's side of the room. His closet is a freaking mess. So I'm going to show that in the apartment tour because it's embarrassing. Um, that's his responsibility. But um, yeah, I just have like a bang and migraine right now. It freaking sucks. I've had it for three days. And I think it's because it's been like cloudy outside. So... I want to get some Christmas shopping done today because I have to get a few more things um, for Adam's family, um, his mom, his dad, and his sister Megan. I have to kind of figure out what I'm going to get them. I have no idea. Oh, I got done filming my apartment tour and that will be up Wednesday. Do you guys like my hair? I don't know if anybody follows Alexa Hand on 
Instagram, but she totally inspired me to do this with my hair. So thank you, Alexa Hand. I literally love her style. I feel like me and her have so much in common. So when I saw her do this, I was like, that's such a cute hairstyle for a pixie cut. Like totally should rock that. <clears throat> so I can't do mine as high as hers because I look weird if it's too high, but it looks so cute like this and it just, I don't know. Hers is higher, but she has longer hair, so I feel like it looks better on her, but you know, she did the little bow thing. So yeah, I totally think this could be a great hair hairstyle for anyone who's growing in their pixie cut because I absolutely hate my hair. I don't like it. it. It needs, I don't know, it needs something. I need to cut it a little bit or something. I just feel like it's just whatever. It's totally uneven. It's just growing in almost like a mullet. Like in the back, it's like long and then my sides are short and then my top is long. So it's just... Ugh. I don't know. It's not very pretty, but when I wear it like this, I feel I feel cuter about myself. So, I don't know what time it is. I should probably check. It is almost lunchtime, so I'm actually going to heat up something to eat. I know that Adam, does he not have any? Oh, yeah, he's right here. Adam got a lot of food from his family's Christmas party. So, I'm going to eat something. I'm going to try to eat something healthy. We had steak last night, but it didn't come out. So I'm totally like not even in the mood. I'm like so tired right now, but I have to go out and do some Christmas shopping. I just ate some lunch and watched some TV. Yeah, I don't want to do it <laughs> at all. Um, there was snow on my car earlier. I don't see it now. I don't know why people always park so close to my car, but whatever. Um... But yeah, so my outfit is definitely nothing special today. I just put on a comfy like sweatshirt and then these capri like sweat yoga pants, I guess, and then just my sneakers. I don't know, I just feel so tired today. Like I just, oh, I should have slept in. I'm so tired. Where's my pink coat? I feel like it's cold outside. I don't know. I feel like I need my North Face. The closet such a disaster. Yeah, so I have to do it, unfortunately. So I am just leaving um, Marshalls right now. They have so much great stuff for the holidays, and it's like designer stuff discounted. I said this time and time again, but that's mostly where I get my shopping done at. Um, you know, it still adds up regardless. Like, you know, I try to budget myself on what I'm going to spend per person, but it's hard, and you know. I got Adam's sister Megan like two gifts just because there's two things I saw that I figured she would really love and um, yeah. Um, hold on. She kind of has like, um, I don't know, not like, I don't know, I want to say she kind of has a style like mine but I wouldn't say it's like as crazy as mine but she definitely dresses really nice and she likes wearing heels and I know she's obsessed with shoes so you know i got her some nice stuff so hopefully everybody likes their stuff and yeah pretty much done with holiday shopping thank god okay so i end up going to my p.o box so i figured i would share um one of my packages i think that this is i hope you guys can see me my pmd um the pmd the personal microderm the uh, company was nice enough to work with me and send me um, a PMD to review and I feel really blessed because the PMD is something I've wanted for a very long time but it's like literally such an expensive device it's like 160 that I just like couldn't bring myself to spend the money on it so it was pretty cool that the company um, sent it to me to review for you guys and like I said I've wanted the PMD for such and such a long time so um, I'm pretty sure that this is what it is long time so this is very exciting very exciting because you know I get to work with such an amazing company Adam's one of Adam's Christmas gifts yes it is this was the last um, Christmas gift I'm gonna buy him so I'm not even gonna share this with you guys super heavy I didn't expect it to be that heavy um, something that he really wanted that's his last Christmas gift and then um, cool I got from Kim, a Christmas card, I believe. And I will have her channel linked below because I forget her channel name. But her name is Kim and she's a total sweetheart and she's always tweeting me and all that. So um, 
season's greetings and best wishes for the new year. Dear Mariah, I want to wish you and your family a Merry Christmas and a Happy Healthy New Year. I'm glad I met you through YouTube. I enjoy watching your videos. You're very kind. XOXO Kimberly. Thank you so much. That's a super sweet card and I really appreciate that. I love getting stuff in there. And then this is Adam's final gift. So these are all Adam's gifts under the tree. He let me have a lot of my gifts early. He ended up getting me like a Rubik's Cube and then he ended up getting me Olaf, like a stuffed Olaf and um, some Lush stuff. So I don't know if he's getting me anything else. I'm sure he probably will, but I don't see it out yet. So my PMD is charging and I think I'm going to like give it a go tonight. I'm going to take like some before pictures of my skin and then some after pictures after a few you know weeks of treatment i guess it's pretty serious and they say that you do one treatment and then you wait another week to do another so i wouldn't be able to do it again until next monday i'm just excited to see if it like clears up my scarring through my cheeks i've heard that it does so i'm waiting I'm for one of the kids to get off the bus and i don't think tonight's going to be a long night i'd say i'd be out between five and six um, and I'm going to try my PMD tonight, which I'm excited about. Kind of nervous because it seems a little bit aggressive, but excited to see if it works and to share it with you guys. I hear you. Adam? <laughs> I swear to God, Adam. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to play. <laughs> I don't want to play. 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 No! 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 Stop it! Stop! That hurts. Stop! <laughs> Did you hurt it? No. 